what is the secret of April 20th, chosen by Musk to remove blue documentation signs on Twitter? Eileen Musk, the owner of the Twitter platform, implemented his threat to remove the blue documentation brand of accounts that did not pay the drawing of $8 per month. The process of removing the documentation coincides with the end of the deadline that Elon Musk placed for the owners of the old blue brand to keep it for free, as this deadline ended yesterday, Thursday, April 20th, with the mark removed from any account that the owner did not pay the monthly subscription price. The signs of documentation and other colors remain the same, such as the golden mark that indicates that the account is for an institution, and the silver documentation mark that indicates that the account represents a government agency. Blue Tick Victims The media was abuzz with the news of Twitter removing the blue authentication mark from the accounts of many celebrities due to the new policy imposed by Musk. The list included celebrities in politics, art and sports, including the Egyptian Mohamed Salah, the Liverpool star, and the Portuguese Cristiano Ronaldo, the Saudi Al Nasser player. Ronaldo's account, which is followed by 108 million people, and Sulla, who is followed by more than 18 million people, appeared without the blue mark. The Algerian international, Riyad Mahrez, winger of Manchester City, Kylian Mbappe, the star of the French national team and Paris Saint-Germain, also lost the blue mark, as well as British Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton. The decision included Pope Francesco, who was followed by 18.8 million people, as well as former US President Donald Trump, who had recently returned to the platform after his account was banned due to previous charges of non-compliance with the platform's laws. The list included Canadian singer Justin Bieber, American reality TV star Kim Kardashian, Lady Gaga and Beyonce, and from the club of the rich and technology entrepreneurs, the billionaire Bill Gates and Twitter founder Jack Dorsey appeared on the list. On the political side, the blue verification mark was withdrawn from the accounts of many officials, but some of them got the gray verification mark intended for government accounts or some organizations. This is the case of Kevin McCarthy, Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. At the same time, Twitter abandoned its decision to classify major media accounts as state-related media or state-funded media, after major changes the platform witnessed over the past days. Twitter indicated that it dropped these ratings according to a review of several prominent pages, noting that many major media outlets from Western countries, Russia, China and other countries that used to carry these two ratings no longer appear on their accounts. The BBC complained last week after Twitter put a tag describing it as government-funded, Getty Images. These amendments included the accounts of media organizations, including the BBC, Russia Today, and the American public radio station, NBR, in the United States. These developments come after a dispute between Twitter and a number of media outlets over how to describe its accounts. News organizations suspended their activity on Twitter after they were recently awarded a government-funded designation, which they said was inaccurate and undermined their credibility as independent news organizations. The BBC complained last week after Twitter tagged it government-funded instead of publicly funded. Twitter owner Elon Musk made the adjustments, saying his platform was trying to be accurate and the action was mainly aimed at highlighting accounts associated with state media or government officials, particularly those related to China and Russia. The Secret Date of April 20th? Although the news about removing the blue check mark in celebrity accounts is overwhelming, there is a big question about choosing April 20th to implement this step. Musk's choice of this date does not seem random, as the richest man in the world loves the number 420 and considers it a lucky or magical number and uses it for major financial transactions. The eccentric businessman used this number in a deal that shook the business community and all of Silicon Valley when he acquired Twitter at a price of $54.20 per share. 
Some may say that it may be a coincidence and there is no need for conspiracy theories, but this figure also appeared a little less than four years ago, when Musk offered to fully acquire Tesla for $420 per share so that he would transfer it to a private company, and he stated at the time that funding secured. In order to determine whether it is a coincidence or not, this number must have a meaning and significance for a mask or in certain cultural references, which appears when we discover that the number 420 refers to marijuana culture in the United States or as it is called cannabis culture, and knows April 20th or 20 to 4 as weed day. And it became a habit to smoke marijuana on April 20th preferably at 4.20 in the morning or in the evening, which is a time reserved for cannabis lovers. The tradition began in 1971 with a group of well-known teens growing up in Marin County, California. Musk, who lived in California until last year, sparked controversy when he was shown smoking marijuana in public, such as when he hosted a podcast with controversial broadcaster Joe Rogan in September 2018.